Your purchasing power, what you can get for your money, keeps being eroded by inflation, which the Reserve Bank tips will hit 8% this year. Lifting wages helps fight inflation, but we're terrible at it. The previous government built rules and laws to keep wages down. Then Finance Minister Matthias Cormann called low wage growth a deliberate design feature of the economy. And it worked. The rainbow is what the RBA predicted each year would happen to wages. The white line is reality. But our extremely low unemployment rate might have kick-started employers to open their wallets. In June, the Bureau of Statistics said pay packets were growing at 2.6% a year. Anonymised data from big invoicing software firms says it's much more, as businesses facing labour shortages are solving the problem using money. There's new ABS data in a fortnight. UK markets rose, probably celebrating the Prime Minister lasting one whole week. Precious metals were considered more valuable today, while key commodities keep gyrating. A tonne of iron ore back above 80 US dollars. Miners, including BHP, liked that good news, lifting the market. Our dollar at 64 US cents. It and all of us adrift on the winds of global commerce. And that's finance.